All right, guys, welcome back. Going into the second hour here of the pre premiere episode of Balance of Power. I got a dice roll to make, Adam, and we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna front do. load the fuck out of this. So how many? How many? <laughs> okay. What can so, I do? So, so first <laughs> of all, I so I checked the the qualities of the. Let's talk about your rocket launcher. Let's talk about this missile tube. So, the missile tube has a bunch of of qualities on it. So these can be things like like all the blast rifles have stun setting. So this weapon has a uh, cumbersome three, which I think isn't a problem for you. What's your brawn? Your brawn's three, right? My brawn is uh I can't see it. Uh brawn is three, yeah. Brawn is three. Okay. So you're you're not gonna have any problem. You're strong enough to to use this weapon. Uh it's got breach one, which means it's gonna ignore one point of the ATST's uh, three armor. Uh, it's got blast 10, which means if anybody is in engaged range with it and you shoot, it's going to hurt them too, which isn't the case here. But it also has prepare one, which means you need to take a maneuver to prepare the weapon. So if you want to fire this turn, all you can do is just like get it on your shoulder, get that lock, and then fire. Um, but if you miss, uh, you can spend advantage to activate its um, tracking ability so it can like hook back around and, uh, and hit the thing. So okay. it means you're not going to have time to aim unless you settle down here, prepare, and then also aim. I mean, the thing's walking towards me, so I feel like I need to just take the shot. Oh, so yes, it's, okay it's gave you advantage, so you can just, even if you yeah, want so to. I'm going to use, use a destiny point as well. Yeah, so let's let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at your pool. So um, you've got in the in the pool, you start with your range. So the range to the ATST is going to start you with three three difficulty dice. Okay, so three purples. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Um, now you're attacking something with a bigger silhouette than you, um, so it's going to be a little easier to uh, easier to hit. Um, so that means let's see, it's two or more points. Oh no, it's just for shooting at it. Okay, okay. So um, when it shoots you, this will come into effect. So if I use sniper shot, mm -hmm. does that is that it's an active ability, and the summary is... Uh, you just changed me to the other thing as I was reading this. Sorry. It says, before making an on-thrown range attack, may perform a sniper shot maneuver to increase the weapon's range by one range band per rank and sniper shot. Upgrade the difficulty of the attack by one range per band increase. Yeah, so you, you don't need to use that because okay. you're already inside so. the range for the weapon. Gotcha. Um, now, you can, if you want to, you can spend a strain to get an extra maneuver. So if you want to strain yourself, you can also aim. That'll give you another, uh, another boost die. Uh, yeah, I have I, what twelve strain. Hold on. Yeah, you're you're still pretty good for strain. Yeah, <laughs> I'll use strain. I'll use destiny point, and then I'll use the boost dice. So okay. I, so what do I add? You uh, in your <laughs> dice pool, uh, you're gonna use so the destiny point. Will give you one upgrade. So put one in the upgrade. Okay. Uh, add in two blue dice okay. to your dice pool. Um. And oh, sorry, it's two strain, not one. So you lose, you lose two of your strain, but that's okay. okay. Um, so you add in your, yeah, your two, one for aiming and one for help. Um, and then the base difficulty to hit this thing is going to be uh, three, uh, three purple dice. So six purple dice total. Uh, no, just three, three oh, total. Okay. Yep. And then I'm using my <sighs> gunnery heavy weapon. Yeah, using gunnery heavy weapons. And uh, did you already click the um, the destiny pool to use the use the? Point? Oh no, how do I? Oh, do I just click roll? Yeah, with just destiny? there's a little like yeah. There's no, there's a little like use dark side, use light side, little indicator in the middle. Uh, oh, use light side. Okay. There you go. Auto, so it'll say auto machine flips a light side point. Oh, there you go. So that, cool. That's what buys you. That's what buys you your upgrade. All right. So ranged heavy. All right. Yep. All, All right. right. Here's the roll. <laughs> See if we all oh die. my god. <laughs> uh, no. Good luck. Oh my god! I think Whoa! I fucking destroyed it. <laughs> I think I fucking what? destroyed it. That's huge. That's totally oh. huge. So, uh, yeah, so you 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 get not only the, the hit, but it's a critical hit, so it bypasses its normal threshold and uh, does a ton of extra damage. Um, now, you get a disadvantage, so maybe the the you, you get, like, distracted by the, the flare blasting out of the rocket or something, and it's going to Maybe I'm a, a so penalty. proud of my shot that I don't fucking pay attention to anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it just, like, hurls towards the ATST, and let's, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about damage on these things. So, when you, when you hit, uh, you can, uh, you can use that to, to activate a crit, uh, against the, the ship, in addition to whatever your normal damage would be. So, uh, when it takes damage, uh, it's going to, um, yeah, you exceed its armor, it's no problem, um, 
it's gonna take a uh, it's gonna take a hit, and so you'll roll a percentile dice. But let's figure out its damage first. Okay. So the damage on uh, this weapon uh, would be um, twenty normally. It's a twenty damage weapon. Damn. Um, and then you get to add the number of successes you got. So that's one, five. two, three, four, five. That's six. Yeah, it oh. counts the oh counts, counts. the triumph, yeah. the crit. Yep. Yeah. So it's twenty six. Um, but we scale it down because it's uh, it, it goes down to uh, to Two. three damage. It goes down to three because um, it um, uh, it's a personnel scale weapon against a vehicle. But this thing only has like twelve hit points. Mm. So um, you yeah your weapon your weapon goes right through the armor. Uh, so it deals a bunch of damage to it. So I'll, I'll take off its hit points, and then uh, you can also roll on the crit table. So on the crit table, uh, you just roll a d100, uh, and you're gonna. So you can just go slash roll yeah. d100, and uh, you can add um, the total damage you did to it. So add three, and so we'll see how bad the uh, oh. how bad the crit is. You want this 21. to be as high as twenty one. Okay, so a twenty one um, means uh, that. Let's see. If the shield, okay, so it's losing power to shields. If the vehicle has no shields, it suffers one point of system strain. So, yeah, it comes flying up to it, hits it, and there's a, a burst of sparks and fire. Uh, the thing staggers a little bit, and we can see inside the um, the two uh, the the two uh, stormtroopers that are running it. Uh, one of them is like padding at the fire with like a cloak <laughs> and they're they're just like this the system has taken some uh taking some heavy strain so how much actual uh, like raw damage did i do to this thing five uh you did three, three oh total, I did three. It's, okay. it scales yeah it scales down yeah. gotcha um but uh yeah so it, it'll take it's not meant to take these things out in one hit um but you've definitely you've definitely caused some caused some damage to it and they're gonna they're gonna take you very seriously now Gotcha. Um, cool. Okay, so the ATST is uh, is staggered, um, and that was the PC. So bringing up the rear um, is Tactician Bell. What are you gonna do? It's your turn. Sir Strippins. Uh, yeah. So I just uh, produce a blaster pistol from my hip, and uh, I turn to the men. And I say, stay low and follow me. Fire on my signal. And then I just start moving in towards the, the front gate. Okay. All right. So you want to you wanna move with your team? Uh, yeah, we're going to move the team stealthy-like. Stealthy okay. Uh, now, you can move them. If you, if you take two strain, uh, you, can, uh, you can move. Um, you can take an extra maneuver. So I'll let you move two. Is it, is it? I'm I'm kind of worried about putting us right next to an ATST though. If I fuck the stealth, bro. I mean, you are you are moving right down the center line toward the front door. But we have like the ATST is already distracted on one, and the troopers are on us, right? That's true. Yes. And they can only look. Yeah. They can only look one way. So. And they haven't they haven't gone yet. You can also uh, you yeah. can also hold. I'll expend a strain to move two bands. Okay. Cool. So you take two strain, and then for your turn, you just lead the team of rebels up into medium range from the door. Yeah. Um, now you can make uh, now you can make your stealth roll. All right. And the difficulty uh, is going to be um, two, and you can take a um, take an advantage, uh, take a boost die for the uh, for the terrain. Uh, was a boost? That's the blue one, right? That's the blue one. Yeah. Yeah. Blue for boost. Uh, that's good. Yeah. 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 Okay. So yeah, you you remain hidden, and uh, you can uh, again. Do you want to use your advantage to recover one of your strain you just spent? Yes. Okay. Cool. You can also use it to notice important something important that I haven't told you yet, or um, let's can... let's do it to notice something important. Okay. All right. So as you're as you're sneaking up, you get behind the uh, you get behind the the covers of big like rocks sticking up out of the ground. Um, you notice that on the wall, uh, like right. I think right here, there's a um, there's like a power conduit that runs up out of the ground, like a geothermal power conduit that runs up out of the ground into the base. Um, and it used to have like shielding. There used to be like metal shielding around it, but it's all like rusted and corroded away. So you can see the the power cables uh, on the inside. Um, and this is carrying power from some underground um, like geothermal plant up to the um, uh, up to the uh, the the base. Uh, basically, okay. and it looks exposed. All right, so I'll make a little. I'll make a little note here. There's a little power guy right there. 
Cool. Okay. All right. I may commend a note of this for my next turn. Okay. So right. we still have so, another move, or did you? Did he move twice? That's it. Uh, you that move from it. extreme to long, and long to medium, and then drop down into um, motherfucker. Yeah. I'm about to get shot by an yeah. ATST. Yes. Yeah, so the, AT, the ATST <laughs> is freezing going both moves, to... man. No, 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 no. I used strain <laughs> to move twice on my turn. We only had four turns, and everyone. Yeah, went. yeah. He only used one. Turn. I didn't oh. use your move. Oh. Okay. I see <laughs> how it works. You you went okay. to yourself, dude. I didn't do nothing. Okay. <laughs> the, the, AT, the ATST, uh, it's gonna have a harder time hitting you because you're small. Uh, it's bigger than you. Uh, it's little, um, it's little like chin-mounted cannon, uh, like swings under and just starts going when shooting in your direction. Um, and they're not great at gunnery, so let's see how this goes. They've got a difficulty of three, and you have cover. So can it's I use? Die. Can I use a light side point against this? Yes, no. you can use a point no. to downgrade. Oh my God. Why don't? Because oh I could God. fucking is, die. I think death of a about, character guys. is this a is, pretty good reason. This is it. This is how, die. This is how we die. This is how we die. You use them all. Would you like to use one of the destiny points? Tell me the odds. Tell me the odds. Like what? What are? What is? Can you never tell me the odds? the odds? That's the rules of Star Wars. Odds. So downgrading, they already don't have any upgraded dice. Um, so oh. it would be a, it would be an upgrade to the difficulty. It would be it would turn one of their purple dice into a red one. All right, the party says not to. I'm gonna trust in the party. Okay. All right. So it would normally be three for the range, but we're gonna bump it up because you're small and they're trying to hit you with a vehicle weapon. Um, cool. Okay. And then um, Sam, make sure you message your friend. We need some new character art. Bell, Bell, Belsa, yeah, you use your advantage already. Okay, so we're we're ready to go. Okay, let's uh, let's see how this goes. Plus, remember they have oh, a. Oh shit! Yeah. No. Okay. So, uh, oh, it didn't roll their dice. Of course not. Let me uh, let me just roll that on its own. We'll do the math our, uh, ourselves. So they've just got three green dice. I need a lot of successes to be able to hit you. No, nothing. Nope. So they get uh, three disadvantage on their roll. So the um, yeah the, the cannons fire at you and they, they carve a path from in front of you like up past you blowing um, uh, chunks of, of dirt and debris up into the air and uh, they completely miss you to the point where I think that they've hit maybe they hit like a, a vent a gas vent underground and now there's like smoke gushing out in front of you and you've got complete cover against them like they, they can't see you at all there's like a big cloud of uh, of gas kind of like spraying up out of the ground. Um, so it's going to penalize their next attack uh, against you um, when they when they try to hit you because they've got they've got four uh, or three disadvantage. OK, so that's them. I'm going to move these stormtroopers. Um, they see they see you all in cover uh, and they're going to come moving up. Uh, so they're going to move into medium range with you. Because you're one, two, yeah, you're two did away. Did move or did it just stay where it was? Uh, no, the walker's just staying right where it is. Okay. Uh, it's it's facing uh, it's facing up where um, where Otto is. Um, and uh, yeah, and now the the stormtroopers are going to take some shots. Um, so I don't know who they would shoot at first because they they act as a group. Um, so let's just roll. I'll roll a D two. Uh, one, it's uh, Lena, and two, it's Theron. Okay, so Theron, you're gonna get shot at. Great, uh, I'm behind cover, so I'm okay. Shoot yeah, away. You, you got good cover, so we'll give you uh, we'll give you two uh, on their difficulty. And... Probably don't take me seriously after I sort of just like fumbled down into into stealth, <laughs> and they're like, "Well, that person's an idiot." Like a, just a weird C commando role, but in plain sight. Yeah, we're being attacked <laughs> by some rebels, <laughs> and whoever that is. <laughs> Okay, so they're uh, they're gonna take a shot, and they're firing as a group. So they all move together. So they have training in their their blasters. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, ah, wow. nothing. All right, bad luck. So Jesus they, Christ, they, they roll with they three only... fucking proficiency. It's because they're a group, right? So they they spread oh. out. Um, there's five of them, and they all support each other. So yeah, when when they're going to get worse the more you knock off. They only have five hit points each, and every time you get rid of one, it makes it harder for them to upgrade. And once they drop below three stormtroopers, those yellow dice will turn green. So, yeah, they all they all like spread out. Um, I think they get cover, and they all just like lay down uh, harassment fire at you. Um, giving, I think they're going to give, uh, they're going to use their advantage. So I got to spend those dice. Um, they're going to use that advantage to penalize um, uh, Theron's next 
action. So you you basically like have to duck down, and uh, you have um, you, you're just hiding behind your cover as they blast it. It's like suppressing right. fire. Yeah, pretty much. So I will make a note here that they have cover uh, as well. Also, we should make note of how many times stormtroopers actually hit something in this entire session in this entire exactly, game. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, far, so far, we're zero for one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm really just trying to maintain that verisimilitude. Yes. Okay. All right. So y'all are covered. Uh, any PC can go. Uh, um, I mean, I want to take another shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. I say I say it either goes Sam or uh, JP goes. Well, I should we so. I think should we wait should... to see if we get advantage so we can give it to JP? Yeah, I think I'll, I should I'll go, go last. JP, and if I get advantage, I can pass it to you. Okay, I'll go last then. Yeah, as usual, or yeah, like we did so... the first round rather. So I want to move in with the core unit. Uh, is there anything I know? Do I know how to deactivate this? power box or is it just a simple shoot shoot it till it it's it's one of those if you sh- if you shoot it it's probably things are probably going to go haywire and probably like there'll be like lightning flying out of it and and that stuff um there's also the fact that the door is shut and it's got like a security console on the uh, on the side too so that's something to keep aware of like even once you get in there like the the door is slightly recessed into the mountainside um but once you get in there you'll have to you'll have to open the door okay um so for this action, it would be good to move and act. And I guess the act would probably be taking out the power box. Yeah, and I mean, the stormtroopers are, it's behind them. So if you blow it up, it might it might do something bad to them. Okay. All right. So I'll, I'll halt the group. Okay. And um, I just kind of like motion to the power console. Mm-hmm. I'm like, we need to take that out. Fire on my signal. Okay. And I just want to like aim for this power box. Take out. Sure. And what what kind of weapon do you have? I have a blaster pistol, but okay. I'm so you can you, you can shoot it. Do it. Am I just okay. shooting it on my own? I can't tell them to uh, do it. No, no, they can do it. I'll I'll roll for them as well. So they're just like the stormtroopers. They go as a as a group, um, and they have they have training according to yeah. uh, according to their. Yes. Okay. All right. So um, let's let's go ahead and roll um, for them now. Do you want to make a separate shot, or do you want to use your action to uh, improve their shot? Uh, I want to improve their shot. Okay. All right. So you're you're gonna help them. So we'll give we'll give them a uh, an extra upgrade. So that's cool. And the difficulty is gonna be they're at range two. It's a small target. We'll call it difficulty three. And they have upgrades on their ranged heavy because they're firing as a group. Okay. All right. So they're gonna fire. And if they hit it, if we get a success, then it'll uh, it'll blow up and do a thing. Wait, wait, wait. Nope. Okay, so they they fire. They, they you're like fire on that box. They like take some shots. They hit the wall around it, but but this don't is so quite, Star Wars. But don't quite hit it. I like hear the shots go off, and I'm just like that had to miss. They're, they're literally just shooting the wall, <laughs> and then and then they look. They all look at you like, did we do it? <laughs> and it's kind of like face palm. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so they, they did not do a good job. Uh, you can still make a, a maneuver on your turn, though, if you want to move closer or uh, do, uh, do something else. You, uh... Yeah, I want to move the group in closer. I'd say, like, probably about here between the ones interacting with Lena and uh, Walker. Okay. Um, do you want to stay hidden while you do that? Because you're, uh, you're yes. running up between them. Okay. I so mean, you have we spend... just opened fire, so can we stay hidden? I doubt uh, it. I mean, you can if you want to make another stealth roll, but you got to spend uh, you got to spend strain to do it. No, I think I think we're in. That's it now. I don't see how I would be able to. It's just like hidden. a mad. It's a mad yeah. dash. Okay. These well, guys all spend... just open fired on the door. If you spend the two strain, you can run for the door. You could hit the the door uh, on this turn, right? <sighs> all right. Let's do it. I'm gonna clear your clear your cover because there's no cover in that. I figured yeah. that they may be able to hit it at point blank, so we make a run for the door. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna spend the strain and run for the door. Now the the, um, the troops the troops took strain from their failure because they're like nothing happened. What was, was something supposed to happen? But you uh, you make it to the little alcove where the door is, and if the stormtroopers notice you, they're too busy firing on uh, firing on the the troops over on this side. They're firing at these okay. two. Okay, so next up. You didn't get any advantage or anything, right? No, they no. they flubbed. It out might be good that. if Lena goes, and then potentially she could get advantage. Well, we still have yeah. two yeah, turns, if they're, if they're this, all, right? Yeah, if they're all shooting at me, then because they're focused on me, then this is best that you go. Okay, Lena yeah, goes, I and guess, then I'll go. 
Um, I guess I'm, we're at medium range now, so I can use my blaster. Um, mm -hmm. Can I also? Can I also? Uh, can I also double move and then attack with a sword instead? If you spend if you spend the two strain, you could just charge into the group of stormtroopers and just start hacking at them with your sword. I kind of want to do that since they're distracted on him. I kind of just want to go Rambo. <laughs> yeah. Well, they don't. They don't. The thing is, they they're decently armored because they're stormtroopers, but they don't have they don't have like melee weapons. For so. some reason, I'm thinking of the Lancelot scene in fucking Monty Python. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, it's her it's her idiom. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Okay. I, I sort yeah. of like look over to there and I'm like, I'm going in. And you can hear that through the comms as well. I'm like, I'm just, I'm going in. And then you can see me, like, take out my sword and then just, like, go, like, jump over the cover and just charge at him as fast I love, as possible. I love this, I love this scene, too, because Theron, you're, you're, like, crouched as low as you can get while they're, <laughs> while they're just, like, blowing this wall in front of you apart. There's just, like, dirt. Like, and it just, like, she, vaults the rock next and, to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she just overs the vault and runs for it. That's the slow motion where she turns to him and has a smile on his face and runs into the combat. <laughs> All right. She like winks at him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you you go running in, um, yeah. and uh, you want to take a uh, you want to take a swing at uh, the nearest one. Okay. So you're engaged with these stormtroopers. Uh, you don't have uh, cover anymore, and obviously their cover doesn't apply uh, to uh, to them against you. Yeah. Because um, you're you just like get in behind it. Uh, make sure you mark your mark your strain, yeah. and then uh, let's see what you need to roll for your uh, for your attack. Yeah, I'm gonna um, Leroy this situation. Yeah, for real. And every basically every five damage you deal will like kill one of them. Um, so um, let's see. You are engaged and you're making a attack. So I think all you gotta do is roll um, and roll your attack against the difficulty of two. Um, so in your pool, uh, yeah. add uh, two purple dice. Okay. Let me double check if the stormtrooper's armor has any defense. Nope, just uh, just soak. Um, okay. So yeah, it's just two two purple dice. And now, do you want to spend do you want to spend uh, that last point you got or anything else? Uh, no, I, I don't think I'm gonna use it. Um, also, uh, this has a special of pierce two and vicious one and one defensive. But well, the defensive is fine. But the pierce two and vicious one, what does that do? All right, let's let's talk about that. So this is a nasty. This is a vibro sword, right? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so you're running up, and your sword is like giving off this faint, kind of high pitched hum, uh, and and there's like a looking at it, it kind of blurs slightly because it's vibrating, um, and it yeah, it's meant to like cut through um, uh, up at their weapons. Actually, the difficulty is only one. It's a melee. Oh no, melee attack is two. Okay. Um, they they're surprised. I'm gonna give you a. I'm gonna give you an extra boost die. So make sure you add that. Okay. They did not expect a vibro. It's just one boost, attack. then, right? Yeah, yeah, one okay. boost, and then uh, qualities of your weapon. Which one? What was it again? You said uh, Pierce two and Vicious one. All right, so Pierce two um, means that it ignores one point of soak for every rating of Pierce, okay. so their soak goes down. So you just cut through the stormtrooper armor when you do hit. Um, so their soak becomes probably nothing then. Uh, no, their soak is three after your attack, and then Vicious. Uh, vicious allows you to, on a critical hit, you add ten times the vicious rating to a critical Damn. hit. Damn! Okay. Yeah. That's so I just roll now, crazy. right? Crit. Yeah. Crit. Yeah. So you crit. attack crit. and crit. your difficulty is crit. Oh. You crit. With one success. <laughs> there it is. So you get a triumph, a success, and an advantage. So let's figure out your damage. So you've got um, what's the damage on the um, the vibro sword is plus two. Plus two and then critical two. Okay, so plus two damage. What's your brawn? Three. Three, okay. So your damage goes up to uh, five and you crit. Uh, let me see what crits against minions do because I, I feel like you just get to like chop up a bunch of them. <laughs> you, kill, you kill at least one just with the base damage. Um, minions don't suffer strain. Chat's Anything also saying, strain. well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's uh, it's plus yeah. 10, the ra it's rating 10. time. It's ratings time ten. It, I'm looking at the the rules right now. Okay. Um, minions are killed by a critical injury. If a minion suffers a critical injury, it immediately is incapacitated. If a group, it suffers one minion worth of wounds. So you kill one. So you kill two. Basically, you just jump in and kill two of them flat out. So what does that what does that look like? How do we how do we see how you fight? 
Well, you see me just sort of vault over the cover that, that Theron's uh, ducking down. And, I, and maybe it's just sort of I'm doing it to protect him. since. Uh, but I just run down and immediately I'm like dragging the sword along the ground. And then I just hack it up against them. And it just goes through one guy's chest and into the other guy, across the other guy's neck that was right behind him. And then nice. I just sort of stand there in sort of like a, a defensive stance against the, the last guy just staring at him. Cool. So two two of the five are dead. You would have killed three, but they oh, their five. armor. Oh, there's five. Okay. Yeah, there's five of them. The the so the other the other three yeah. are just all of a sudden like, what the heck? Like they just turn like you came out of nowhere. Uh, -huh. uh, and and one of them is like, get back up, and they like they turn and I think they're gonna they're gonna run because they don't My, have, um, they, they don't have, uh, have melee weapons. I have an active called disorient. How does that work? Um. Well, let's take a look at what it does. So. Well, you know, for disorient, um, do you have it written down in your got in your skills? Uh, yeah, I have it in my skills. Uh, it's down. It's an active, and uh, after hitting uh, with combat check, may spend uh, to may spend. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, it's 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 um. Uh, is that the, an uh, advantage? Advantage, yeah. So I can to disorient the target. Okay. Oh, um, okay, okay. So you don't have uh, don't you don't have, have two you don't have two uh, to spend. So when you do get two, you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to spend it. Well, I guess now I'm just gonna pass my advantage along to um, Wicked. to J or to Auto. Yeah, cool. Okay, so I guess what we're learning here is that if you want to kill stormtroopers, just get in there. Just get in there and wave your sword <laughs> but around. They're not gonna hit you. <laughs> yeah, so they're they're turning and, and they're gonna try to like fire at you, but but you're in the middle of them, uh, you know, with with stormtrooper blood dripping off your vibro blade. Um, do you want to try another uh, another rocket shot, uh, Auto? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm I'm behind. They can't see me at all, right? Uh, yeah, they've lost track of you uh, because of the the smoke. So it would make sense to aim this round and then fire next round. Can I do that, or uh, does Sam go you next could, round? You could. The um the uh the smoke will dissipate at the end of this this round, so they'll, oh. they'll be able to get a target on you. But remember, you don't always have to like. You can go last on this round, let them go, and then you go again. And the smoke will last until the end of the full round. So. You'll be protected uh, and be able to aim and shoot if you want. Okay, and how much does the aim boost me? It gives you an extra boost die for every action that you aim. Um, so in this turn, you could prep, aim, next turn, aim, fire, and that'll give you two boost dice. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to prep and aim. Okay. And then next one, aim and fire. Okay, great. So that's your action. So you lo load another rocket and start aiming through the, uh, through the smoke as it starts to dissipate. Um, and I also start counting the rockets. I just I mark like one in front of me, on whatever right. rubble is there. All right, Theron, uh, it's your turn. What do you want to do? Uh, so the stormtroopers that are near us have started to run. Uh, they're for for the moment they're they're disoriented by the sudden chaos. All right, uh, then I so they, I try to shoot. They're not one shooting of them. at you anymore. Yeah, I I try to shoot one of them right in the head. Okay. All right. So you're gonna fire into now. You're firing. It's gonna be a little trickier because you're firing into an engagement. Um, right. So let me take a quick look at what the difficulty for that is. You are at medium range, so it starts as two, and then firing uh, range attacks at engaged targets. Uh, you upgrade the difficulty by one. Um, so another purple. It's one one purple and one red, and then the rest of your normal your normal dice pool. For for my weapon for blaster pistol, yeah 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 you just you would just roll um your next to blaster pistol um right. but you do have because you didn't uh, Lena you didn't spend that advantage you want to pass that along to um uh pass along to Theron yeah I'll pass my advantage to him okay Theron so you should have one boost die two uh, one boost die one purple and one red don't hit Lana gotcha yeah and if you if you get the critical fail the the big scary Thing, there is a chance to hit one of the other individuals engaged with the target, and it's my choice. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Great. <laughs> okay. So you fire. Uh, thankfully, you don't hit anybody uh, <laughs> on your team, but you don't hit any stormtroopers either. So just like you just see a whiz past all of us, and I sort of just turn around and look at him. <laughs> yeah. It hits the wall. We're all the other stormtroopers. We're all the other. But he can pass that advantage on, right? Yes, that advantage can get passed on to the next uh, next person. All right. To act. 
You can also pass disadvantage on, remember, too. So if you want to give a black die to an enemy, it works the it works a similar way. Um, remember, you can see all of the stuff that you want to spend these on on the uh, the combat reference uh, page, which I'll show you right now. Let's take a look at those between turns. Um, okay, so the ATST. The ATST isn't gonna. It can't fire on you because it can't see you right now. So I think it's just gonna move closer. They're they're like he's still out there somewhere, and they and they move up into range, um, and uh, and they go looking for you. Um, the stormtroopers, uh, they I mean they don't have they don't have any melee weapons on them except their fists. So uh, I mean I think they're gonna try and run away. So they're just gonna uh, run into my group. <laughs> yeah, they're they're gonna get, fall back. Do I get like uh, an attack against them if they try to disengage me? Yeah, I'm checking. I'm checking on that. I think that if you try to get out of uh, engaged, uh, let's see, two characters in very close proximity. Uh, it's a subcategory of short range. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't I don't see anything uh, here uh, about no. that. If there is a rule for that, I'm not sure what it is, but we'll, uh, we'll check, it out. So. I'll check it out. Break. Or, yeah, I'm sure chat will tell us. <laughs> Several variations of the same rule, too. <laughs> um, okay, so they're gonna um, they're gonna try and they're gonna try and get away from you. Um, I think they're just gonna use their uh, they're just gonna use their actions to to flee. So they turn and they run back to the door and they run right into a whole bunch of rebels um so when they see you um i think i don't know i don't know if they would fire necessarily i think maybe yeah maybe they'll oh they don't get to because disengage is the maneuver then they move okay so that's all they they're like they break away from you maybe you take a swing at one of them he blocks it with his, his blast rifle and then flees and then they get off, uh, they get they disengage for the maneuver, move away, and then realize, uh oh, there's a bunch of rebels in the doorway, and then their turn is over. Okay. So any any PC can go now. You have all four of you in uh, in order now. I think uh, we want Otto to go. Well, do I have an advantage die? I do, right, from Theron? Uh, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. So let's do that. So I have aim. I'm going to aim again, so it's two. So th plus mm -hmm. one for three blue die. Uh, it would be you, you on the last turn, it was prepare, aim. This turn, it's aim, fire. So it's two blue dice from aiming, one from Theron. Yep, so you've got three. Okay. Uh, still three uh, bl uh, purple? Uh, no, they're closer now. It's only two purple. Oh, nice. Um, and I'm going to... I'm going to get um, black. Yeah, I'm going I'm to use one of my... I'm going to use one of my destiny points to... Damn! Uh, use, so use, one gonna, you, use one so of those. So that puts it to two, two. So then could I use one again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can use them. So if you use one and I use one, uh, what happens is I upgrade the difficulty. So you're looking at a purple and a red, and you get an extra upgrade on uh, on yours. So just oh. add put upgrade put upgrade one. Okay, so you get so I take one purple down and then add a red, and then I have one upgrade. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Here's the roll. Uh, Give her. Let's do it. Crit. 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 There you go. Oh, hit it again. Nice. I, okay. I'm glad I used that, though. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Failed it, def it definitely helped, and and all the advantage too. Um, yeah. So yes, yeah, so you fire off your second rocket. You got four left, and uh, yeah, it, it spins out, smashes into the side of the ATST. Um, it's gonna take another, see another two damage, I think, because you deal um, twenty three. Uh, so, and when you yeah, say scaled down, two. what do you, how do you scale that? Yeah, so the, the way vehicle, you're firing an anti-personnel weapon at a vehicle, um, so every 10 points of damage that it does is one point of vehicle damage, in the oh, same way yeah. that if it fires at you with an anti-vehicle weapon and hits you, if it deals 20 dam if it deals two damage, it actually deals 20, right? So we, we scale up for each, each grade, just gotcha. like if all of a sudden an X-Wing flew by and shot the APST, it would take another level of, uh, of damage. Gotcha. Moral of the story, don't ever let a individual person get shot by a Star Destroyer <laughs> or you'll take like 10,000 damage. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hilarious. We should totally do that. Yeah, Star, Star Destroyer just flies <laughs> in the atmosphere, shoots auto and by some miracle hits you and you take 10,000 damage and you die. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be awesome.
I would totally just, if I was a DM, I'd just dick people over like that. <laughs> yeah, Star Destroyer flies in. You're hit for 10,000 damage. I'm sorry, you're dead. There's nothing to do. That's, that's, it just that's, happens. That's, that's, I mean, that's that's the game. So this, yeah, this this tube that you're using, uh, it's it's meant to blow up large groups of stormtroopers, but also because it has breach, it allows you to do several small hits on a on a vehicle. Um, this vehicle's weapon is degraded too, so you're dealing you're dealing slightly more damage to it with this weapon. Now, if you were firing an anti-vehicle weapon, it would only have a damage of like five, but it would probably have a much higher armor piercing. This is firing like exploding rockets, not gotcha. uh, okay, not like armor piercing missiles. Yeah. So uh, I, I lick so my thumb you, again and put another shot down in front of me on the rock yeah so they're they take another hit <laughs> yeah. and, and stagger and they're they're starting to rethink this plan like they can they can see you but you've got cover and um now i think that the stormtroopers are like there's rebels by the door there's rebels by the door and so maybe it, it turns uh and it's kind of they're the pilots trying to decide where to go um so any other pc can go now i sort of want to chase after the guys running from me yeah, yeah, so, you can do the you can do the same thing. You can just use a, an action to charge in and attack them again. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna chase after them. As soon as I see them running, I immediately follow behind them and uh, begin to swing my sword as I as I'm running up. Right, not so fast. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, go ahead and make your. Uh, Make do I attack. have any purple die or or any other die that purple two two purple? Uh, it's just a regular regular melee attack. Okay. Um, no advantage, no disadvantage. Just two purple in your pool, and then roll your uh, roll your uh, weapon. Okay. So you're gonna take a strain um, okay. from from the attack. So I'll use that disadvantage to cause you a strain, but you still hit. So you deal. Um, let's see, piercing two. They have armor three. You deal two. You deal three damage. Um, okay. So you you egregiously injure one but uh but don't kill them okay uh, so they're down to you cool so there's still three of them one of them you you come running in he gets his arm up uh before you swing in and you you bury your sword right through the the white plate of his arm okay um he screams in pain um okay uh either of the other uh pcs uh i guess i'll go okay. um so is lena ch gonna continue chasing after the other two that she wounded that guy yeah, she's just gonna. Well, she's gonna hack at this guy that she she basically almost cut his arm off, and then just try to finish him off before she goes after the others. All right. So, uh, uh, while that fight is go, while she's chasing those guys down, can I come out from undercover? And yep. um, as, as I come out from undercover, I'd like to get very close to Lena, and uh, before she can stab the guy, shoot him in the head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Rude. And, and and then literally just point at her like go and and like get the other guys. Yeah, yeah, right. To to be like, no, you don't have to finish this. I got it. Yeah. Okay. So okay. if you want to do that, it is going to cost you two strain to move from medium. Uh, you were in, or were you? Yeah, you were in long. So you got to go from long to uh, to short range, um, okay. to get up to the to close. So it'll cost you two strain to to make right. that extra run. Um, but now when you're firing at them, um, it's just one red die. One red die to hit him. Great. Yep. Come on. All right. Combat. I just want to shoot him in the head. That's all. Why can't? Yep. Why can't I just do that? He's only got two hit points. Oh, oh man, geez. you are. Okay. Well, you didn't. You didn't critically fail. This guy fucking but... like somehow reflects the blaster into your face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like you you failed, but it wasn't like so. You run up and you fire and you you miss the guy. Um. And I don't know, maybe it's because uh, it's not like she's just statically standing there. It might be that um, Lena is moving around, so you're, like, trying to, like, not hit her. And she gets yeah. in the way. And you fire oh, and miss them. Oh, well, I, all I want to oh, do is, Oh, now it's like, my fault. It's my fault that he wants to kill someone. I'm saying well, from his perspective, it's probably I know, I know. <laughs> all right, sure. All right, whatever, yeah. Now, you have four, you have four advantage you can spend, so you can... Um, you can gain defense. Um, you can um, perform another free maneuver if you want to move or aim or something like that. Um, you can add. Um, you can do a lot of you can add a with... penalty to somebody. Yeah. Yeah, you've got a lot of stuff to work with with those. Uh, Dude, those three. It, you can negate the target's enemy's defensive bonuses, so like he will have nothing. You can gain plus one melee or range that? defense, or you could force the target to drop a melee or ranged weapon that's wielding. No, um. Yeah, so I'm gonna. Um, I guess I fired and it hit the ground near Lena, and 
Uh, I will maneuver to get like right next to her and be like, chase them down. And then okay. I'll, I'm going to stay with the wounded soldier and uh, see if I can get any info from him. And I'm going to grab him. I sort okay. of like give him a, 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 like I just like leer at him for a second. And then I go, nice shot. And I turn <laughs> to start to make my leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there's three, there's three stormtroopers, one who's badly injured. You want to try, then you want to try to like separate that one from the, from the well, other. I thought, I thought the other two were, were still moving. I thought that what they're, they, they, all, this, they, they all were... move as one unit. Yeah. They're all, they're all together. They're, they're sticking together. So the guy who's horribly wounded, they are sticking around him then? Yeah, yeah, they're going to try to... I mean, they're, right, they're then, realizing they're in a bad situation, so they're not really sure what they're going to do yet. All right, then I'm just going to move in closer and get rid of my strain. Okay, sure. So I'm going to yes. be, like, on top of them. So you can recover some strain. That's, that's and, how you remove uh, your strain, is you get on top of people, Jesse? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What question is that? Yeah, what? <laughs> All right, I so, just had to make uh, sure that that was understood. <laughs> So, Bell, what are you? What are you and your rebels gonna do? Um, so, do I know how to get this door open? Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, you could make a you could make a, a roll to uh, to do that. Um, you could. I mean, any of the it can be open from inside. Um, probably whoever's in charge, whichever stormtrooper is in charge, has like a key, uh, a key code that'll get it open. Um, there's a there's a keypad that can be bypassed, but there's also like a place to put a, a command uh, module, so it would just tell it to open. Um, okay. Or you can try to slice it, and slicing it would require um, a computer uh, test. Yeah, computers, which you could try. You just aren't very good at. Right. What happens if I shoot the power? With that open door. Uh, I mean, that's the other thing. You could just, if you spend, y'all have some destiny points. You could just say, I shoot it. I spend a destiny point, and bam, the door opens because it's Star Wars, and that's how that shit works. Hmm. I have computers. Yeah, and but you're no, you're nowhere near him, though. I know, I know, but I'm just saying. You guys are pretty close to us, actually. Or yeah, we are pretty close, and you guys could just help us take out these guys that are running. Yeah, and then the I could use computers to. Yeah, can I um, signal the the soldiers to open fire on the stormtroopers? The three okay. remaining. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're like fire, and and one of the one of the troops like they hesitate first because one of the troops is like, but, but sir, and, and you can see like they're worried about hitting uh, hitting Lena. They're like, but but sir, please don't crit fail. <laughs> and, and then what do you do? Are you like no, just take the shot? Can I, can I like radio in to tell them to take up to hit the ground? I mean, they not right now. They're engaged in melee. So take the um, shot. Take it. You're the <laughs> you're heroes. Take the shot. I kind of like look at the soldier who's nervous, and I'm like, then don't miss. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. And he nods and like shoulders his rifle. He's like, yes, sir. And they all they all start firing, and so the the red the blaster bolts come flying in. Um. So just to be clear, yeah. Theron, you're not you're not at a risk here. Um. Right. Right. So it's gonna be uh, <laughs> short short range. Yeah. Uh, short range for these these rebel troops. They're firing as a group, and they have one um, one downgrade. So it looks like it's one purple or one red die for them. All right, rebel troopers. Let's see if you embarrass yourself in front can of us. Can I can uh, I give them advantage? Um, or can yeah, I fire myself? You, yeah, you can also shoot. Same as before. You can do it if you can do your own action, or I'll, you can. I'll I'll let them shoot, and I'll shoot as well. Okay, so here we'll do them first. Hey, that's really hey, good. they crit. Okay, nice. so the, the rebel troopers, yeah, it works. Like, they're, they're like, okay, and then they wait, and, and I think the commander, uh, he holds his hand up, he's like, wait for it, wait for it, and then as soon as as soon as Lena is, like, out of the way, he's like, fire, and they all just, like, rip shots at the uh, at the stormtroopers. Uh, this is going to do, let's see, they're firing blaster rifles. It's going to deal nine, ten, oh, and then one dies. Oh, uh, Straight two, up stormtrooper. Two of the three of them. Two of the three of them die. The only one that's left is the injured one. Right. So there's one okay. stormtrooper on his own with two hit points. Uh, yeah, they they fire, and I think the one the one that is closest to uh, to Lena, she doesn't die because he he uses her as cover, uh, and they don't fire at him. But the other two, bleh, they fall down uh, after a, a fusillade of uh, of shots. Now you can go if you want. So you can shoot that last one if you want to. Is he still in cover behind? No, no. He. I mean, it's still it's still engaged, so it's still going to be one red die for you. I've wrestled out of his arms by yeah. now. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. take I'll take the shot. 
And the two, yeah, the two of you are fighting. You've kind of got his helmet twisted sideways. He's trying to punch you, and then yeah, you can you can fire. So make a uh, make an attack with your blaster, uh, and the difficulty is just one, um, one uh, red die. One red. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's what not good. That? That's a crit fail. That's a crit fail. Oh, no. Sam just hit the uh, fucking pocket. <laughs> <sighs> okay. You so, can't decide how to make it a crit fail. Here's, here's how it works. So when attacking a target engages an ally, the attacker upgrades difficulty to check by one. Uh, in addition, if the attacker's check succeeds but generates uh, at least one crit, the crit is automatically spent to make the attacker hit one of the individuals engaged with the target. Now, thank God you missed... So it's not like you hit any of the targets. You shoot over or past them. Um, and uh, I get to spend that. I get to spend that um, that despair uh, however I like. But it doesn't automatically hit. Uh, okay. Yeah. So let's see what I can spend it on. Still, It's still a crit fumble. But um, I could have it blow up in your hand or... Oh, Jesus. Um, Sam loses like her hand. Let's see. Well, I mean, it, this guy happens. All right, so let's see. Um, I can upgrade the difficulty of the next check. A tool or melee weapon the character is using becomes damaged. The character's ranged weapon immediately runs out of ammunition and can't be used for the remainder of the encounter. Okay, so I think that's what happens. I think that you you like take a couple of shots that miss, and then on your last shot, the the gun runs out of ammo. So it's like, and you can't use it for the rest. I just of... like look at the gun and tut and just like throw it at the ground. <laughs> awesome. A couple of <laughs> shots and you're like, meh, fuck this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, the, Need to remind you that was I, like a hundred credits, Sam. You might want to yes. pick that back up. <laughs> well, it'd be better if you pick it up when no one's looking. Like, Feh. everyone goes inside. You're like, I'll just. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah. So you can spend those uh, those two to recover uh, a strain uh, if yeah. you like. Yeah. Spend them as usual. Um, and actually, I think you can spend one for uh, one for a strain, and then the other for. You can yeah. You can recover two strain or. Uh, add do one strain and add one to the next allied characters check if you want. Uh, is it auto going next? There's two the two groups. The stormtrooper is going to go, and then the ATST is going to go. You can oh, also use it as disadvantage next. though. Can I use it to disadvantage? No, uh, you got to use both of them to disadvantage. Uh, okay, yeah, no, I'll do that. Can I disadvantage the walker? Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Um. So the walker has turned around. Um. And I think what it's going to do is it's going to shoot a grenade uh, at the at the door. It's just going to fire a grenade at everybody in the door circle. So all the little rebels and uh, and you. So the grenade launcher is a personnel weapon, not a um, not a vehicle weapon, mm -hmm. and it uses uh, uses the same uses gunnery. So let's. Roll and see how that goes. So they're at um, medium range for you. So it's two difficulty. And you gave them one, you said? Yeah. Uh, one, of the, one of the disadvantage? Okay. All mm -hmm. right. So the ATST, yeah, lobs a concussion grenade in your direction. Um, and let's see if they hit. Crit fail. Incoming. Believe in the dream. Fuck it up. One, one Fuck it up, dream. Adam. Let's see. So they've got three in gunnery. All oh. right. Are you God, I want it to just explode in the thing. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just explode I mean, the so ATST. They, they can't crit fail right now because I'm not rolling any red dice, uh, unless you want to spend a destiny point to make one of those dice red. Nah, Which, just let's it, see what happens. Let's see what right. happens. Okay, so fetch my vehicle sheet. Here comes, here comes the boom. So it's gonna go. Auto seeks revenge against the empire. What? Can't uh, find the character. See. Oh, it's because I didn't, uh, I didn't attach this character. I'll just roll there. Actor. I'll roll there, roll. That's on me. Boo! -hoo. No, I'm just Boo. trying to increase the tension. Um, gunnery, they there it is. They cannot be found. Oh, they okay. hit! Ooh. So they hit. So it fires. It's it's basically like a, a as minimal as a hit could possibly be. This is the least that I could I could do. Um, and it lands. Yeah, it lands right in the middle. Someone shouts grenade. You try to scatter, and then it <laughs> goes off. Um, it deals. Um, let's see. It deals blast damage. Um, so we're looking at, um, do you, how much is your, how much armor do you have? Um, Bell, what's your soak? Uh, one. One. Okay. So Bell, you take nine wounds. Damn. Yep, take nine wounds. How much? Uh, as minimal as possible, you said. 
Yeah, it does 10. So, and uh, to the rebels, they take, let's see, they have a soak of three. So they take seven, which kills one and a bit of them. Um, so yeah, so one, one guy, I think one guy is like out of the way and he like grabs you and like pushes you aside and then the grenade explodes and he gets thrown to the, thrown to the ground. He's like lying there, smoke coming off of his chest. Uh, and the other, the other rebels see the, um, the, the ATST in there. They're kind of like looking at you like, oh God, we have to get inside. Keep in mind, Sam has 14 total wounds just so everyone knows. Yeah. Hmm. Well, uh, then yeah. somebody, I feel somebody like somebody else wounded, but uh, yeah, you're you're true. Well, true. wait, okay, so it landed right there. It's close to me and Bo. Is there, and there's no way I could take a reaction to like throw the trooper sort of in the blast. Uh, no. Okay. No. Yeah, he's just outside. Uh, he's just outside range. Um, okay. Now it's his turn. Um, he is going to. What is he going to do? Uh. He's gonna surrender. That is what he, he's gonna. He's gonna give up. He he puts his hands up uh, and and he's like, I give up. I give up. That was his action. He, he begs for mercy. Uh, all right, PC. Anybody can go. Um, I'm gonna if if it's okay. I want to kind of no. I I I'm not gonna go because <laughs> you can kill him if you want to. You can just shove. Your I, sword I go at the end of the turn because I want the advantage. So yeah, if you're the hacker, you should be get, like going to the door as quickly as possible, because they need you there. Well, that's why I think Theron should go first, and, and I'll let him deal with the trooper that's surrendering. Sure. Okay. All right. So it's so, it's one... You want So, Theron, you want to go first, or... Yeah, Theron, go first. I, I would yeah. say. All right, so I get in on the trooper and put my gun on his back, and uh, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch his butt. Okay, yeah, so you just point the gun at him, you get him to surrender, and he, yeah, he puts his hands up. Yeah, so yeah. Give up. Okay. Yep. Right. Yeah, you, you got him covered. Um, okay. The, the great thing is the guys in the ATS, you're going to be like, what? He's surrendering? That traitor, and they're just going to shoot at all of you anyway. <laughs> but um, that's cool. So he's he's covered now. Um, so the next person to go. Um, oh, quick mean. question, question. Does he have his weapon on him still? Uh, no, he drops it. He drops it on the ground. You want to pick it up? Yeah, I want to pick it up. Okay. All right. What weapon is that, by the way? Uh, it's a blaster rifle. <gasps> Excellent. Those are very. I, I would love to have one. Okay, you now have an Imperial Stormtrooper blaster rifle. Can we right. can we pick up the blaster rifles from the other guys? That oh yeah, killed? yeah, yeah, totally. Well, yeah. as I'm walking, we'll do it the afterwards. Door, <laughs> okay, we'll do it afterwards. Fine, we'll do it at, well, after the ATST. Well, then I'm gonna notice that the guy surrendered, and I guess not even pay attention to the ATST because I need to go and and open the door. So I take out my slicer gear from my backpack, and mm -hmm. uh, or utility belt. And um, immediately start to try and slice the door open. Okay, uh, it's a standard difficulty computer test. So just two two purple dice in your pool, and then okay. Well, let's hope I don't. Yeah, so that. so Lena comes over, and uh, the the rebels clear a path for you. They get out of your way, and you come up to the uh, the little panel, which you crack open and attach some cables to, and start working away on your little keypad. Uh, you hit, but there's there also you go. A okay. So oh. take take a strain, uh, okay. take a strain for that, uh, and you get uh, you get a success. And we hear we hear the thing beep. A little green light goes off, and the the two metal doors slide open. Okay. And then I sort of just stand at the door and let people go in. Uh, let You're like hustling uh, me. Well, can I like reach over and and grab Bell and sort of push him push her in so that way because she's already well, wounded and I can see that. It's her turn next, right? It's, oh, Bella, okay. it's Bella's turn. So, okay. um, so here's so unlike unlike D and D, where it's all really abstracted for the wounds. Until you hit your wound threshold, you're not yeah. actually physically hurt. Um, oh, like you don't oh, okay. you don't have any you don't have any physical damage. You're just less likely to be able to get away from the next hit. Once you're at, at you know zero wound threshold, every hit after that is you're physically getting hurt. Um, so you're you're tired. So you you're, tanked a grenade like a boss. You're running. You're running low. The grenade startled you, like the, yeah. the noise and the flash and everything. Like that was bad, and it's made you less effective. But uh, it also means like you you didn't actually take any like physical harm yet. So it's easier for us okay, to do. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Um, uh, Bell, it's your turn. What do you want to do? You want to run inside? Uh, yeah. So I'm just. I just. Everyone in. I just. Point to the door, and then I look. I motion at Lena, and I'm like, "Good job." 
Okay. Yeah. So the troops, uh, the the commander following your following your lead is like, uh, is like gesturing. He's like, hustle, hustle. Let's go, let's go. And everybody starts to pour inside. And um, yeah, inside there's a, a long gangplank that leads into all of the um, the like cell blocks because this is this is a prison. Um, it looks pretty abandoned. Like most of the cell block doors are open. Um, a lot of the lights are burned out. We see like water dripping down from the ceiling. Um, the environmental controls in here aren't turned on, so it's like really hot. And uh, and yeah, you all start running inside, but you don't see any more officers or uh, anything like that. Um, so, uh, Otto, it is your turn. Yeah, I'm just reading the chat now. They're just saying, yeah, JP gets hit by the Star Destroyer. <laughs> yeah, now that everybody's inside, the Star Destroyer does the strafing run. Star Destroyer shows up, kills <laughs> everyone. I'm always gonna have that in my head. Uh, anyways, I'm I'm gonna aim and then take a shot, so I only get plus one die. Let's kill this thing. <clears throat> Okay, um, so remember, you don't you don't have the extra you don't have the extra action to aim, right? Because you have to prepare every time. You oh, shoot. I got to prepare. That's right. That's yeah. Right. So this one is prepare fire. Okay. But he's on uh, he's on us, and and uh, and Theron and I are yeah. still kind of at the door, so it's not like we're all inside yet. It's true. So. Yep. Wait. So if I if I spent this round to aim to prepare and aim, and then aim and shoot next round, he has his yep. back to me, right? So. Yeah. The thing the thing is turned. It has armor all the way around. Um, but it's not paying direct attention to you. The other thing you can do is like the the momentum of the of the fight is kind of turned. You could try to get them to surrender, right? You could you could make a roll to like shout at them and be like, "You don't have to die. Come on out." I don't have any of those skills. I only know how to shoot things. <laughs> like, out. Not I only know how to kill. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. uh, I'll go ahead and prepare aim and then aim and shoot. Next round. Okay. All right. So you uh, you prepare and aim. Um, the the ATST, what are they going to do? I think they're going to shoot. Huh. Okay, so Lana, you, uh, or uh, Bell, you're inside, so you're, you're like off the map now, basically. Yeah, Oops. most all the soldiers in, in him are in, or her are inside. And I'm at the door, and then Theron is with the trooper that surrendered. Yeah, okay. I'm going to make a, uh, I'm going to make a roll for them, because um, their commander's down, and they're seeing people surrender. Um, I'm going to make a, um, one so jumps out and yells traitor. <laughs> yeah. Whatever uh whatever their their willpower I guess is here. Um let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna make a willpower roll for them. Let's see. Because they're not trained at it and they're they're by themselves. Didn't JP prep and aim last round? No. You shot no. last time. I shot last yeah. time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh okay. Yeah, so I think I think they're probably gonna they're probably gonna they're considering giving up. Let's see if they do it. I'm gonna make a difficult roll here. Okay, yeah, they they like one of them. The, the top opens. You see the the top creek open, and uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, the officers. They're wearing the like the gray outfit with the little hat. He's got his hat in his hand, and he like stands up with his arms up, and he's like waving, and he's like. We surrender. Please stop firing. Can I just take a shot? <laughs> <laughs> you monster. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, you can. I mean, on your turn, you can take a shot. Yeah. That's their action. They're like basically surrendering. Like, no, stop. Yeah, I, I just stand up with the rocket launcher, like aim down at the ground and like maybe put my hand or look through my uh, macro binoculars to like see what they're doing. And then okay. I, shout, uh, I shout to the guys behind me. I'm just like, I think they're surrendering. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, they both they both look at you. One of them, yeah, one of them's got like spotters goggles. He's he nods. He's like, I think they've surrendered. And they they see you. Like, do you do you put it down or do you fire it at them or? Well, I mean, I'm I'm gonna fire next round, but I don't know if it's necessarily. This it's your round. turn. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You, or no, any, any PC can go. I'm continuing. I'm gonna aim and then shoot. So two. Two aims okay. plus the prepared. I think. And then shooting. I think in this case you don't. Um, like make the make the roll, but if you hit, like you'll kill this guy basically and shut down the ATST. So just as long as you don't miss. Okay. What is the how many purple? Two. Uh yeah, two purple. I'm not gonna use a light side. Are you gonna use a dark side? Uh no, no, I'm not gonna. Okay. Oh, we'll roll. Okay. Wow. You miss. <laughs> you missed on your last shot. You're just like, I got you, and just flies off. Uh, I kind of put it down. I was like, warning shot. So, <laughs> but hold on, no, this this is the fake out, right? Because the weapon has uh, the the oh, um, homing quality. Right. 
and you have enough advantage. Do you want to spend three of those advantage to have it home <laughs> yes. in? It flies right past the guy, and he assumes you fired a warning shot, where you're like, oh, and he says, yeah. like, no, I'm sorry. So here's, I'm sorry. here's what I do, is I fire the shot, and I, I purposely missed, <laughs> and then I set the thing down and start walking towards the door, and then it comes back around and blows up the ATSD. <laughs> yeah, so here's, here's, how that, here's how that works. The... Um, the, the quality of, uh, what does it call, like homing or, or seeking, um, basically it, it means that if you miss, you can spend three, uh, three advantage. And, uh, let's God, I have so see. many fucking advantage. You can spend the other two as well, like on a normal, normal stuff. Um, what's that, what's that ability called? Um, okay, then I'll remove two guided. strength. It's called guided, yeah. So if you miss, you make a check at the end of a round with three um, uh, three green dice, and if you're successful, it hits. So it won't hit until the end of the round. So it soars past them and like flies off into the distance, and we just hear the missile launcher going like beep, 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 as it's like turning the missile slowly, turning around and coming back. Okay, so three green dice against two... Per yeah, but not until the end of the round, not until oh, okay. the last PC is done. Okay. All right. Uh, so I, I, I want to go. And I want to shout up, since I have my, my uh, I, I have the blaster rifle pointed at the back of the stormtrooper, I want to mm -hmm. shout up to the, to the guy that I can see and uh, demand that the other soldier inside the ATSD show himself as well, so we know that it's not a trick. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so both the guy, of them will be at the top. Yeah, the guy that had his waist up, like, he climbs out, and he puts his hand in, and he, like, pulls, and another officer, another woman, like, she comes out, she's got her helmet, uh, like, she's taking her helmet off, she throws it aside, and they're both, yeah, they're both just standing on top of the ATST. Now they're both gonna get hit. Yeah. yeah. So they're both just standing on top of the ATST with their hands up, kind of like, we give up, we're, we're done, um, and the stormtrooper that you have still got his hands, uh, his hands up, uh, so that's your, that's your action. Mm -hmm. Do you want to move? Do you want to get closer to the door? No, I want to stay okay. right there. So, yeah. Okay. All right. I sort of I hear them. Or if you don't mind me going, well, you're inside, so whatever. Yeah. Either um, I I hear them yell as well that they surrender, and I've got my blaster up now because I put mm -hmm. my sword away. And uh, <laughs> can I demand that they jump down? Free uh, of all yeah. their weapons. What? If you do that, they're not, gonna, do that, they're not gonna get hit. I don't want. Room. You forget. <laughs> I don't. Maybe I don't want them to get hit. They're they're uh they're prison war prisoners. I mean, keep keep in mind that that all you saw from where you were standing is the missile fly off into the distance. You saw Otto make a terrible shot. Yeah, so well, you don't necessarily know. That's what why going. I'd be like, that's why I'd be like, I want to get in range of them so yeah. I can bind them up and and because yeah. I, I have mean, I can bind them and I can I can. So this this is the thing. They don't get to go on your turn. So yeah. all the shouting basically means that on their turn they're gonna have okay. to decide what to do. But okay. they will get one. They'll get one more turn to climb down. Uh, on their turn before the missile hits, because it hits at the end of their their turn. So. I'm gonna piss so many people off if it works, but I'm trying to basically uh, coerce them to come down um, and put their hands up so I can bind them, or behind their yeah. back so I can bind them. Yeah, so they start they start like climbing down, but it'll it'll happen on their turn. Do okay. I need to roll or anything or? No, they're just... no, they're basically what what's happening is your your auto succeeding at coercion rolls. Like they they've already okay. given up their willingness to do what they want. So okay, so they start to climb down. Um, inside, uh, Bell, you um, your team kind of splits up and they're like combing the area looking for other troops. They've started to like spread out and and uh, get a look at things. Um, is there anything you want to do, or do we want to see if this rocket? Hits? What is the um like process for opening the prison cells? Is there like one control room or are they? Yeah, so I think when you come in, we get this long kind of panorama of they've hollowed out the inside of this this um, this mountain basically. And so there's just like 30 stories on either side of you of like cells. Um, and you can see some of them, like as we get the long pan down the, the cell block, we can see some of them still have the barriers up. And you can see people kind of like with their faces up against the barrier looking to see what's going on. And then in front of you, there's a big console that allows you to um, activate or deactivate all of the, the various uh, controls, all the different cell blocks. Okay, can I try and release the prisoners from the cells? Yeah, it's not encrypted or anything, so if you want to do that, you start doing that. You just start like pulling levers yeah, and it's just I'd shutting down. Yeah, I'd like to down. just start Perfect. ripping open cell doors. Okay, yeah, so we start to see the all the barriers go down, some of the people starting to come out uh, and like look around, and they're all looking really weak. Um, and then... I kind of uh, motion to the soldiers to like help them. 
Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So then they all start. Uh, they all start getting uh, getting out of their cells, and then outside, the two start climbing down from the ATST. And um, I'm just gonna roll. I'm gonna roll a, like a force die. And if it's light side, they get down before the missile hits. And if it's dark side, they, it takes them too long. Oh Jesus! Okay. Seems like a reasonable <laughs> well chance. Then if if you're not gonna let me roll the damage, then let's let's cliffhanger on that. Oh, you'll you'll roll the hit. It'll just hit either the ship or the dudes. But yeah, we can find out if you hit them on the side of the ATST or the uh, or the ship itself. We can wait when we come back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's yeah. let's wait. Right. Dun, dun, dun. Let's uh, take our second <laughs> break here. Still got two hours left to go here on the premiere of Balance Power. Don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back with our number three.